Hello Yetis. I'm calling you Yetis because it makes it a lot easier to talk to a camera. Um, and also I call everyone a Yeti now. You'll see. When we think of fretwork, we think of delicate, interlaced, intricate designs carved out of medium to thin depth wood, normally showcased somewhere where perhaps light can shine through their delicate pockets and cast beautiful shadows, such as like a lampshade or maybe a, a like a partition. For this project, the job of designing went to Ed Sells, our favorite engineer. He designed it on CAD, Fusion 360, and he designed a panel to slap on the wall under his stairs. What are you gonna do? So. The purpose of this project isn't only to decorate Ed's home, um, it's also to test out two things with the smart bench. The first one being how easy is it to use really? To answer this, they've assigned the actual project, so Ed's designed it, but the people who are going to be cutting it is myself and Mac. I have not operated the smart bench before, I don't know uh, a lot about it, I'm not a DIY person, I'm not a very handy person, I'm useless. <laughs> And I'm nervous about it because obviously it's a very fast spinning router head and uh. So it's me, um, but I'm not alone. I'm also with Mac who's our head of sales Who also obviously by his title isn't an engineer at the end of the day isn't a handyman. He's handy, but he's... The second thing we wanted to test is how well can Smartbench process a design of a larger scale that's more complicated. So we've already tested out its large format capability when we designed a bespoke workstation for Ian's brother Graham. If you are interested in seeing that project there will be a blog posted on our website and I'll, I'll link that below. So it's already proven itself to very easily uh, cope with a very large sheet. However the processing of straight lines, which was that was pretty much the workstation, pretty straightforward for a smart bench. It's pretty straightforward for anybody, let's be honest. So the challenge in this is obviously this fretwork, it has a lot of round holes, round pockets, and that might prove a challenge. So that's something we need to test out now. Let's see how we got on. actually really smoothly. It was a really great experience um, taking control of the machine myself. I was really nervous but it was really simple. <laughs> we'll be posting a how-to on just how easy it was to set that up for the cut. In all honesty I'm taking a lot of credit. At the end of the day Ed made the file, gave me the file, we plugged it in and pressed go. It's almost as simple as that. So the next step uh, was obviously painting the component and decorating it nicely for Ed's house. So the job of deciding how we're going to paint it went to Ian. Um, Ian is the inventor of Smartbench um, and is also obviously a Yeti. Ian heard of a guy called Jackson Pollock. Very, very experimental these Yetis. So to paint, I enlisted the help of our newest Yeti, Jarvis. I don't have a picture of him yet, but I'm sure I will um, in the very near future. So we met up on like the last sunny day of October and this is how it went. <laughs> It's actually looking really good, um, so just so you know, it's more about the art of movement than the actual visual art, and I watched a YouTube video on that, so... As you can see, our artist here is a trained dancer. <laughs> We 
we think that our um, its artistic potential has really peaked, we think. What do you think? I think we've expressed as much as we can in this one. Yeah, I feel really expressed out. So we're going to wait for it to dry. Hope that it does dry because there are a lot of splodges on it, thanks to Jarvis. Um, Your secret is safe, isn't it? Not if you say it on film. I think we'll install it tomorrow, give it time to dry today. Go to Ed's, install it tomorrow. So, see you then. Hey, Lizzie. Hi. How are you doing? Really good. Are you excited for your um, new piece of uh, interior decoration? Yeah, I can't wait. I think it's going to look fab. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it might look crap. <laughs> it might. It, it might, might look crap. It might look terrible, but... I'm sure, you know, let's have a go. Yeah. And I, I'm really keen to see what you guys do, because I, I, what, what it looks like, because to me it's a total surprise. The last time I saw it was just in the CAD. And then you guys have like, gone away and done this, and, uh, yeah. and I can't wait to see. We worked really hard. <laughs> was that sarcastic? No. <laughs> Here they come down the path. <gasps> wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, you do. I I do, but there's a tragic element to this. <laughs> I think we're aware. You've done it the wrong side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I love it. I think this it looks really, really great. But as in, in the design, it's supposed to be a perfect fit. And once you look at that, it absolutely is. I think that's gonna that's gonna really work. Yeah, please, can you do the other side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so new plan. We're going to uh, run back to Ian's, paint the other side, heat gun dry it, and we're going to whack it on tonight. It's going to happen. It has to happen today. Okay, let's go see how Jarvis is getting on. It looks really good. <laughs> proper forgery, I expect it to be accurate. Yeah. It's not a proper forgery, we're not yeah. selling this at an auction, we're giving it to Ed. Wait, so all this left now is for... Um, um, you know, yeah, yeah. you need to spill a couple of tins. Okay, you said it was a secret and you've done nothing but talk about it. <laughs> I think it looks fab, I honestly think... I think it looks better. Really? Yeah, I think I definitely... Well, we know I messed it up, so... That's absolutely perfect and you're my favourite person. The you absolutely can go to the toilet and you can have a banana if you like. Wow, it it's looks an, really it's similar. An exact, an exact replica. Should we get it on the wall? Yeah, I don't know how you want to attach it. But it... Okay, here we go. That's pretty cool. Is it a repeated pattern or where did you get that design from? Uh, no, it's not a repeat pattern. Uh, I was looking around on Pinterest and saw a load of cellular structures from leaves, which were very high contrast. I took a 2D picture from a, a, cellular, a microscopic cellular structure of a leaf, which was 2D and raster, and then I pushed that through a vector program, uh, which we should make a vlog on at some point just chopped it into the size of my stairs and then said right go go make it uh, into machine code so smart bench can knock it out yeah, right. so i didn't draw a single one of these yeah, right. <laughs> they were all converted um just from an image i liked it'll save people heaps of time mm. I feel like a bit of a cheater <laughs> <laughs> look at that isn't that good that's great thanks <laughs> <laughs> So what have we learnt? We have learnt, um, paint the right side. That's it. What I learnt, what I took away from it is first I discovered a new artist and I learnt that I can I can operate Smartbench so this is going to help us a lot. Um, at the moment the guys, the other yetis are really busy, they've got places to be, people to see, codes to write. So it would be really helpful if I can start making components and making projects by myself. So my next step is probably to learn how to use CAD software, which I'm excited to do. I like learning. Thank you very much for watching. We are a small company at the moment with a, a cool idea. 
a cool machine and we are just trying to get it out there. If you want to help us grow then please subscribe and follow us on our journey. Like this video if you did and I will see you next time.